Here we go, guys. Well, um, they're at it again. Uh, day two. Well, not really day two because I didn't film yesterday. But um, <clears throat> it doesn't look too much different from the other the other day. Um, but I'm pretty sure you let a little time go by. It'll, <laughs> it'll start coming together. Um, it is Labor Day. Cloudy day. I hope we get some rain. I, I really do because we really need it. Uh, Cause the grass is really dry, and you know. But um, I hope y'all having a good Labor Day, man. Uh, headed out to get some donuts this morning. Don't feel like cooking nothing. So kids, they love the donuts in the morning. They love the sugar. Uh, so it's okay every now and then. I'll, you know, we don't get these days off. These days often, you know, being at home with our kids. So um, um, go get some donuts and make their morning, make their day. So I'll holler at y'all later. Well, we're here guys. Donuts. Get our sugar. I'm gonna get the cake donuts cause I can't do all the sugar no more. Don't jump in that water like that. <clears throat> this is what it's all about, I guess. Being off with your kids and going to get donuts. Uh uh, that's the wrong door. <laughs> I know that. That's the ice cream door. Come on, guys. This is the. Wow. Hello. Wow. Here we go, guys. Monday. No? Damn. I take that back. It's Tuesday. Two down, three to go. Short week. Thank God. I hope you guys had a wonderful, safe, Labor Day holiday. Uh, I did. I got plenty of rest. Um, was able to just kick it with the family. We, we really didn't do too much, man. Ate a little barbecue. And, you know, that was about it, man. We didn't go out and go to no lake. Or we don't, we're not water lakeish people, you know. So, um, you know, we we, we want to see the next day. So we don't do crazy stuff like that. If my, if my feet can't touch the damn bottom of the pool, I'm not getting in it. But anyway... Guys, we got uh, Carolina this week. Yeah, we got we got Carolina, man. Um, they're not a pushover either. It is week one. So, um, like I said in my video last week, week before, whatever. Uh, no more babysitting. No more no more changing diapers. No more daycare. Uh, all the all the rookie jabronis are gone. You know. So um, now it's time to really play some football. Now we got to get focused. Uh, we got a young team, so we really got to be on our P's and Q's this game because Carolina's ready. Uh, like I just said, they're not a pushover. They, uh, they're a very good, very physical team. Uh, one thing, now, this is really not, I really don't have too much to say uh, in this video, but I just wanted to talk about uh, uh, the Cowboys getting ready, uh, for the, mentally getting ready for this game, and mentally winning this game. This is the first game of the season. This is the game that kind of gets you over the hump. Uh, a lot of guys are going to be nervous, uh, especially a lot of young guys. You know, we're predominantly young team, one of the young, youngest teams in the NFL. So, um, you know, we're gonna we're, we're, we're gonna make a, probably make a lot of mistakes at first. You know, it takes a while for a game to get in the rhythm. Both teams now, not just us, just both teams. It takes a while for for a, a football game to, to to get that rhythm, get that. Find that, that 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 tone, you know, and set the tone because it's those first game jitters, you know, those butterflies you get, you know. And for me playing football and my experiences and stuff on different levels, I can understand, you know, the first game of the season, you, you you've been you've been playing against your teammates uh, all off season and, and, and you know uh, practice two a days, all that, and uh, you finally get some fresh meat, you know, playing against another a new blood, another team. And uh, you, you ready. It's the first game of the season, man. Every game counts now. There's no preseason anymore. There's no, you know, uh, exhibition games. It's do or die, you know. And everybody wants to get that first win. And it, it, it becomes very, very tough that first half, that first quarter, pretty much. Those first couple of series, hell. You know, um, and since we like to, uh, since we like to get the ball first every damn game, I prefer we kick the ball off so we can get the ball back after halftime. 
common sense. But Cowboys ain't got that. That's one thing they don't have. Their, their front office don't have common sense. So, But um, it, since we like to get the ball first, we need to set the tone with Zeke. I know Travis Fredericks is out. I know we got Connor Williams at guard. He's learning. He's getting better. He's learning. Tyron Smith is probably 80, 85%. He's never going to be 100% again with that back and him getting older. Uh, but I, I feel like we still have one of the best lines in the league. Uh, if Joe Looney steps up and he's had a lot of reps with Dak and, and you know, through the years, uh, through, through, through Dak's two years, tenure, whatever, however, however you say that. <laughs> but um, so that's a plus. And hopefully we can get in the rhythm really quick, set the tone with Zeke and uh, run it down the throats. We still need to establish the running game. We still need to milk that clock. We still need to take take control of clock management. That's the only way. Since we got a pretty good defense from what I saw in the preseason, defense looked pretty damn good, y'all. I, I haven't seen an aggressive defense from the Dallas Cowboys since DeMarcus Ware. Like, seriously. Um, we To keep them off of the field, you know, no three and outs. You know, you want to keep that defense fresh. You don't want them tired. Because you can't think when you're tired. Now, we want their defense tired. That's why I say we need to use clock management. Keep keep their defense out on the field. Keep them tired. Keep their hands on their hips, hands on their knees, or hands behind their head. You know, whatever. You know, so we, we just want to establish that tone. We want to establish it. We want to get in that rhythm real quick. Um, and, and, and hopefully we can give Dak time to find somebody. We don't want Dak to get too flustered. Because y'all know Dak second guesses himself. So... Uh, we want to give him time to find somebody. Time. We got those quick young receivers now that can that can create space and get open. So Dak shouldn't have a problem getting the ball up the field if need to be. You know, uh, we can't run every down, so uh, we got to pass sometimes. So I don't know what they're gonna do with Rico. I don't know who's gonna start. Uh, we're probably gonna run out of a two tight end set like normal. Um, hopefully Rico will be one of the starters, but. Uh, I don't know. We'll see with the offensive side of the ball. We've got a lot of learning to do. Uh, hopefully we can learn fast because this is the regular season. There's no turning back. And now, Carolina Panthers. They got Cam Newton. They got some pretty good receivers. Uh, Christian McCaffrey at running back. This guy is uh, hes a hole hitter. He is very tough. He can run that ball. They run out of a power eye. They like to run out of the power. They like to motion that fullback. They like to run with a fullback. Uh, they're one of those teams that run an old school style eye formation, broken eye formation, you know, power back, power, power O or power I, whatever you call it, formation. And uh, they were pretty successful with that last year, uh, especially with, you know, Christian McCaffrey being back there. So uh, now our defense, Jalen Smith, Sean Lee, got to shut that down real quick. So uh, that that that's my thing. Now, if, if you get, I've learned through the years with with Cam Cam Newton, um, if you get in his face, if you rush him, if you uh, get him flustered, he'll get frustrated, and uh, he'll he'll it'll mess with his game a little bit. So, uh, but he can throw the deep ball. He's very good at throwing a deep ball. He's got a strong arm. He can throw on a run. Hell, you know, he can run a little bit. He's a tough cookie. He, he's a He's just like our quarterback. He'll be tough, you know, uh, can take a licking and keep on ticking. So, uh, but pass, pass uh, I'm sorry, uh, the pass rush has to be, <laughs> man, I'm kind of hoping Gregory's going to start. We need him out there on that, on that defensive end. Him and Law, high boys need to come on with it. You know, so you call yourself the high boys, I'm going to need you to come with it, man. Like, no ifs, ands, or buts. Nothing less, like, really come with it on that pass rush, man, because that was that's what was killing us uh, in 2017, that pass rush. So, you know, we got some guys on that defensive line. You know, I would like to see uh, Tyrone Crawford at the defensive tackle. He did really good in the preseason uh, at the tackle position. So I would like to see him maybe taco in the middle until David Irvin comes back. Uh, but but we'll see, man. But that's pretty much all I got. Like I said, nothing really too much to talk about this week. I'm probably not going to make another video. I don't know. I always lie to myself. I always lie to y'all. Say, hey, I'm not going to make another video. Then 
The next day I'll come out with another one, come running my mouth about something else. But I want to thank y'all for tuning in, man. Thank y'all for watching and being patient. Football season is here, man. There is no turning back. It's time to put the women and children to bed and go looking for dinner, like I always say. Out to the ball in a bad mood. Make sure you stay cowboyed up because you never know what the day is going to bring you. Holla back at your boy. Can't wait, man. Sunday, dog. And it's an afternoon game. It's not a late game. I love that. I love it. I'm out. And the only thing else I got to say is, how about them cowboys? Yeah!